Oh, the sun is coming out. Where? <coughs> what am I doing? Hey everyone, it's Michi here. So on Saturday, the day that I actually go to the convention, I'm actually going to be out of town for the first part of the day. So I packed this little, oh shoot. I packed this little, <laughs> this little cosplay to go kit. Basically has all the things that I need for my cosplay. So that's when I make it back to the city, I can basically get ready on the way there <laughs> to optimize my time. I can just show you what I have in my bag. Just little, little what's in my bag? A video. I've always wanted to make a video like this. Oh my gosh. So first I have my makeup pouch um, with makeup inside. Next I have the actual cosplay. Um, so this year I'm going to be dressing up as your forger from Spy Family. I'm going to be wearing her iconic assassin's dress. My badge, very important. And by the way, I love, I love the design of the badge. I love this key visual like so much i love the colors this is like this right there is like one of my favorite colors ever um so yeah a mask you, you hear that there are like a bunch of crows outside don't mind the crows outside <laughs> okay so mask because i believe they're still like mandating oh my gosh wait no come back Anyway, oh, this is like, what are these called? Like circles, wiping circles, <laughs> and Q-tips uh, for removing makeup. Moisturizer, makeup remover. It's triple action cleansing water. Makeup remover. Bobby pins to keep my hairstyle together. Your Forger hair tutorial comes soon for curly hair. I don't know how I'm gonna put this in whatever this is <laughs> okay so we'll see about that tissues because it's cold and runny noses are a thing a weeb packing deodorant for a convention <laughs> please oh my god <gasps> part of the glue came off on my nail so that's fun pasties for reasons that i will explain um when i put on the costume and sanitizer because could get nasty, <laughs> not in a good way. My wallet to buy random crap that I probably don't need, but I do want. Open this and it's like empty inside. Um, um, I think that's all, yeah. That is what is in my bag, my convention bag. I got cold. It's time to do my makeup. I'm contemplating my life right now because I've been having some issues with my skin. I'm wondering if like putting on makeup will make it worse. Potential prolonged damage to my skin for temporary beauty. Well, like Beyonce says, pretty hurts. So I already washed and moisturized my face, moisturized it very heavily. Um, we'll just jump right into it. We're gonna start with foundation. I'm actually recording this a few days before the convention. On the actual day that I attend the convention, I, there's gonna be a lot of like moving around and I don't think I will have the time or the ability to properly show this, show you this um, transformation. How do people talk and put on makeup at the same time? I'm a mess right now. Um, if I immediately break out into hives, please just save this video. Med students, you may use this as um, an example for your studies. Okay, anyways, what was I saying? I feel like nothing is happening. I'm not gonna pack on a lot. Packs on my whole epidermis layer worth of makeup. Sun is not working with me right now. Come on, sun, come on. Ah, oh, so close. I thought the sun was actually gonna come out. I was gonna be like, <laughs> okay. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> this is slightly better in person. Like on camera, I probably look, I still look horrendous, but 
in person, there's, there's a slight improvement. I will take slight improvement. All right, next we're going to go in with eyeshadow. Um, oh, we should probably show the product like I'm a beauty influencer. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing? I love these colors. They are so oh my god, not my setup. <laughs> not the Pringles in the back holding my phone. Wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a B-roll of this because I can't. <laughs> I can't I can't expose myself like that. Okay, I'm gonna use this color and this color. Do I go light to dark or dark to light? How does it work with makeup? Okay, I've decided. I'm going to start with the dark. I'm gonna use the darker brown. We're just gonna Improvise. <laughs> I'm just gonna like start at, you know, where my eyeball is. Wow, very, very riveting tutorial. Michi, good job. Maybe I should have started with the light. No, okay. I've committed. I'm, I've committed to this decision and I'm going to. I should use this mirror. <laughs> I should use the mirror that the eyeshadow palette gives me rather than like bending over in front of the, right in front of the camera. Okay. This color comes out more pinkish than I expected. Okay, so I'm just going to like contour my eyeball. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm, I think I should have started with the white. Okay, so I'm just gonna like contour my eyeball. I'm glad that I've, I've been seeing a lot of like Insta baddies, more beauty influencers using their finger to apply makeup. I'm glad to see that that's a thing. So I look cool. This this is because I, I'm cool, not because I'm a broke ass bitch who doesn't want to invest in makeup because she wears it like once a year. But she probably should wear more often because makeup is fun when you can do it properly. Okay. All right, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use my middle finger um, to pick up some of the lighter color. I like this one because it's very, it's shimmery. So it gives, okay. You see, it's so, <gasps> that's such a pretty color. It's so like shimmery. I'm gonna use a dabbing motion to, how do people do this? How do people put on makeup and talk at the same time? What am I saying? I'm gonna use a dabbing motion to try to blend the shimmery light color with the darker maroon color why am i facing away from the camera like i'm a shy anime girl um okay i'm gonna put just a smidge of the shimmery eyeshadow in the corner of my eye just a tiny bit you see oh so beautiful this i love this color so much okay so i'm cosplaying as your forager from spy family aka thorn princess aka waifu of the year change my mind i mean first i love a woman who can kick my ass and second of all i just love characters that are so like that are so nonchalant about how strong they are like your or like mob um or gone like i love characters like that i'm like hunched over like <laughs> like a like a hamster trying to drink water like you know when they go like this anyway your forager so i love your forager um i love her design i am i'm obsessed with her assassin's design that dress just speaks to me it's sexy it's elegant Eleganto. it has like a cape or sort of like high low dress is that what it's called it has lots of straps i love a strap i love very strappy sort of outfits um, and designs. And how can I forget the leather thigh-high boots? I'm sweating just thinking about it. She's just cool. I've been doing this for like the past 20 minutes and I've just been doing the same thing. Making sure the eyelids are like like cousins, at least cousins like twice removed. Okay. Next, we're going to do eyeliner. I need to like meditate before I do this. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. Okay. Not horrible, not horrible. Ugh. 
So there goes the sun. There goes the sun. Doo 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 doo. There goes the sun, and I say, please come back because I need light right now. Oh my god, that was amazing. Anyway, I'm trying to put like some in the corner of my eye. <gasps> Oops. God, what am I doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. God. And this is why I packed makeup remover. Another reason why I love your is because this girl cannot cook to save her life. And honestly, same. I'm wondering, I wonder why that's a thing in anime. Like anime girls like just can't cook. Like, oh my, oh my God. Okay. This is so crunchy. Oh my God. Anyways, anime girls can't cook to save their life. Okay, it's usually like a slice of life or romance anime. Like when the girl tries to like cook, they create this like disastrous, um, purple slob of a thing that they usually have to censor and then like once somebody tries it they like pass out dramatically or something like why is that a thing in anime um i mean i can relate because i don't cook i don't clean but let me show you how i got this ring is it or is it tell you how i got this ring okay i think i fixed what i can all right we're good we're, we're still okay but do you see the difference in my eyes it's amazing just eyeliner can change the shape of your eye Okay, next. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And I also messed up here a little, so I'm gonna try to cover that. I love how you can just, at this point you can like look straight into my brain through my nostrils. Okay. I'm doing this in complete silence, by the way. Like the, the <laughs> all I hear outside are like, is the wind, the crows, like, you know what? Not the worst eyeliner work I've done. Okay. I think eyes are done. I couldn't find my mascara, so like, I guess I'm not wearing mascara this year. I'm like, okay, I'm debating if I should attempt. I, this is, I'm in a mood for attempting today, I suppose. Like, to draw on like false lashes. False, false, false. False bottom lashes. Am I attempting that? Am I attempting that right now? I'm attempting that right now. I don't know if I like it. I can't tell. No, that one, that did not, that one did not work. Um, no, this is not it. My cellar water, my life savior. I just have my cellar water running like down my whole arm. My whole arm has been micellar watered. It doesn't look that bad. I didn't like get rid of all of it. Like there's still like remnants of the false lashes that I drew with the eyeliner. So it kind of looks like I'm wearing mascara on my bottom lashes. Kind of, sort of. I think it's acceptable. It's not exceptional. It's clearly not elegant, but I think it's acceptable. You know what I should do? I'm going to use the same like dark eyeshadow. I'm going to try to use it to contour, which is going to be very interesting considering that the eyeshadow is like purple, not really like a natural like brown or like red or maroon. But this is what I have with me at the moment. We're going to see what happens. Oh God. Oh God. A clean finger to blend it out to make it a little soft. I don't think it looks bad. Hold on. I think I'm up to something here. Another thing that I appreciate using the same product for like everything. So like in this case, I'm using eyeshadow to contour. Let me like blend it out more because it still looks a little harsh. I don't want to look like Jojo character, at least not this year. Contour like the bottom half of my nose too. No, I'm right now I'm I'm like I'm looking like a telltale character. <laughs> I bet I'm gonna see a lot of your cosplayers because like Spy Family has become like such a huge thing this year. And we're all gonna be wearing the same outfit too, like the same black outfit. <laughs> Yours like other outfits, like her casual outfit, like the red sweater with like the open back. <gasps> Next, I'm going to use this. I assume it's a highlight. But I'm not quite sure. It's just this giant circle of shimmer. 
giant circle of shimmer, God. Oh, you can't see that, what am I saying? Okay, I'm just gonna put it on the tip of my nose. Sorry, I keep thinking like a crow is gonna like break through the window. Put it down the bridge of my nose. Blend it out. Shiny nose. My shiny nose and me. Shiny nose, shiny nose. Blend it out. Cause it looks so harsh. I hope I get to see a Lloyd or two or a five. <laughs> I love Lloyd. And I honestly wouldn't put it past grown ass weebs to like dress up as Anya too. Like to dress up as a. How old is she? Like six? Like a six year old. I'm gonna put some on my chin just because I can. I'm putting it under my eyebrows. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for this year in particular because um, they sort of held like a raffle slash lottery for some of the panels. Um, and fortunately i ended up getting selected for lava panel and i got selected for the hajime isayama panel so that's very exciting in my four three four years of attending anime nyc i <laughs> i don't attend panels because i usually like i'm too busy looking at the booths all right so the last part of this small makeup routine is lips so chapstick strawberry flavor the taste of her strawberry chapstick i'm going to use this as sort of like the base i guess it's like this the sort of shimmery that's the word today by the way shimmery um i'm going to use this maybelline matte lipstick it's like a super harsh red color i'm going to try to go for like a gradient lipstick look. A dab of color in the inner corner of my lips like this. It's giving, I just drank three glasses of wine. It's giving, I just ate a lollipop, like the cherry flavored ones, the ones with the gum in the middle. It's giving I'm a vampire and I just had my midday snack. You know, it's very subtle and I think that's the vibe that I wanna go for, for this look. I think we're done. So this is the finished makeup. Again, very minimalist. Um, didn't go too hard with like contouring or like concealing or anything, clearly, because my skin looks, arguably it still looks a mess, but you know what's gonna take me five years right now? The hair. Oh, this hair. Okay. We can all agree that your forger's hairstyle is a phenomenon that science has yet to explain, especially with like my hair, cause my hair, let's just say my hair fights back, okay? Like it fights back against a lot of different kinds of hairstyles, especially hairstyles where I have to plaster my hair, <laughs> like it has to stay in like one place. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. So your has like, well, she has bangs. I got that covered, but I might have to like revive it a little. And she has like parts of her hair like this. I don't know what they're called. Extensions of her bangs that like frame her face. And this part of her hairstyle, like she has long hair and I obviously don't have long hair. I debated for a split second whether to get like hair extensions or something for this part of the hair, but I was like, hmm, maybe it's not worth it. I don't know. I sort of like wet and conditioned my hair a bit. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm going to like sort of split, put my hair down the middle. I'm also like really, I'm bad at doing hair. I'm bad at like parting my hair. So this is gonna be a challenge. Did I say everything I wanted to about your? Yeah, I just, I think she's a cool character. She's adorable, she's cute, but she can also like kick your ass and murder you if she wants to and tries her best to care, like genuinely care for Anya and Lloyd. You know, even though it's just like pretend family, she like genuinely tries her best to um, grow 
as a person and learn, you know, parenting skills, like teaching Anya how to like defend herself, even if it's her own way. <laughs> Not gushing about your. Okay, so I split my hair into two. With this first part, I'm going to attempt to braid. Split this part into threes. All right, we've moved to the bathroom so I can have access to water. So I have this so far. I cannot tell like what is going on back there. I probably look a mess. I look a fool. Making a fool out of myself on the internet. But isn't that what the internet is for? Okay, now I'm going to use bobby pins to sort of pin the two braids like to my head. I'm making a fool out of myself. I'm sure like my mom is watching this and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this is not my daughter. She knows that I can't do hair, so this won't be surprising to her. I guess the surprising part would be the fact that I'm sharing this information on the internet. I'm going to pin it like here. Ow, the bobby pin is hurting me. Okay, you know what? It's not bad in the front. The back though. <laughs> Here's the reveal. How bad is it? Please be honest. Is it really bad? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the video right now. You gotta get my bobby pins. Yeah. Oh my god, my knee. Okay, so that's hair and makeup. Hair and makeup is done. Now it's time for the outfit. I guess a little bit more about the outfits, the cosplay, the fits. I got this cosplay from mycostumes.com. This is where I got my Mayuri costume from last year. This is a size medium. It is slightly big. Um, by the way, this cosplay took like a good like 15 minutes to put on. The cosplay comes with the dress, so it comes with this like, the cape is sort of like attached to the dress. Um, it also comes with these thigh high, what are they called? They're not stockings. I guess like leg warmers is the best way to describe it. To give sort of like the illusion of it being a boot. I'm wearing black socks and my black heels. Um, together from a distance, it kind of looks like one coherent, Boots. It also comes with these um, gloves, these very fingerless gloves, and this headband. It also came with earrings. I wore this cosplay for my Halloween costume, and actually that night, that night was so wild, I ended up losing those earrings. I ended up getting a new pair of Your Forger earrings from Amazon, and honestly, I do prefer the ones that I got on Amazon. You can probably tell that I've been like adjusting this strap in particular. This strap definitely like slides up a lot, so I kind of have to like support. See, if I do the chicken dance, <laughs> which obviously I will do at Anime NYC. Um, the leg warmers, I also have to sort of constantly slide up. So the reason why I packed pasties in my cosplay bag, if I lift my arms like over my head, my my titties pop up. So the dress is a little too big for me, like over here, you can even see 
the dress is a little big. I had to have someone help me pin it together. And with this strap too, um, I actually also had someone help me tape the two parts of the strap together. Hey, it looks good. It's it's very high quality. Um, I love the design of the cape. I love this choker. It's like my favorite part. I like the little design, the rose design on the choker. I just love how this costume comes with all the pieces you need except for the weapons. So I guess you can get the weapons separately. Oh, and another part that I like about this cosplay is that there are cups built into the dress um, to support your boobs. Yeah, overall, I do like this cosplay. It's very true to yours design. I love this design, so I love the fact that I am able to wear it <laughs> in the flesh and be your forger. Like, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the costume. So yeah, this is the look. Yeah, I'm just here now, just casually dressed up as an anime character. I will see you at Anime NYC.